Hi, and welcome to Debt Tale. I'm Rebecca Bautista, and in this video, we're going to be going over wire transfers. So, let's get started. All right, so in the previous video, we talked about ACH transfers. Now let's talk about wire transfers. A wire transfer is another way to transfer money across accounts, but it's a little bit different. When you make really large purchases, such as real estate, a car, sometimes transferring money through estates, etc., you need to move over thousands and thousands to up to hundreds of thousands of dollars depending on your situation. In this case, an ACH transfer usually cannot be done, but a wire transfer can. A wire transfer generally has higher limits, but one fallback is the fact that you have to pay for a wire transfer. Another thing is that wire transfers require more information than an ACH transfer. So when you initiate for a wire transfer, you go to a bank and generally they will request additional information, including paperwork that you fill out, needing the person's address, name, account number, routing number, and in general, a reason why, but also they may request your driver's license to again, prevent fraud. Now, the reason why there's a little bit more paperwork involved is because once a wire transfer is initiated, it cannot be stopped. So you really wanna make sure that your money is going to the right place. So double check it as you fill out the form. There are times where it is accidentally mis-entered and then it could take weeks to try to fix that. So in general, it's just something that once it's initiated, it can't be stopped and that money will go to the account that was specified. So once you specify an amount that's going to be transferred, the bank takes that money and moves it to their reserve. By doing this, that means that there is no way for the funds to be held for insufficient funds because it is already moved to the bank's reserve. Once it's in the bank's reserve, then it is then transferred to the location that you had specified. Now you can also wire money internationally, but be mindful that that transaction will be monitored by the foreign assets control. Now foreign assets control basically just wants to make sure that American money isn't being used to fund terrorist organizations, go for money laundering, or be sent to countries that have US place sanctions on them. Also note that they have the power as well to freeze the accounts should they find it suspicious and open an investigation. So generally wire transfers are used for large transactions such as buying real estate, cars, and of course, international business transactions. The reason being is that these funds cannot be bounced or insufficient funded and therefore it just offers a peace of mind to whoever is receiving the money. Well, I hope you found this video helpful on wire transfers. The next video is going to be on cashier's checks. Just another way of moving money. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below. I would really appreciate a like, subscribe, and if you can, send this video to somebody who might not know what a wire transfer is. All right, until the next one, I hope you have a good one. Bye.